Hello everyone and welcome to the Let's Play the Guild of Dungeoneering. We just unlocked the Drunken Sailor and many more adventures over in the piratey area, as you can see. Let's have a go at one of them, shall we? So over here we have Tharby Treasure, X marks the spot, what a load of crap, and then a cold shower. Over here we have the Kingdom of the Crab King. Which one is the king? Coin Trail and then Crab King. And over here we have Monkeying Around, look behind you, the crew is restless, and then give it back. Mmm. I think we'll go for the broken boat as the next adventure. I think uh, Tetra deserves to have an adventure to see how she goes. Let's go for Varby Treasure and enter the dungeon. Okay. Of course you can be a pirate on land! It still is a ship, isn't it? So we have to collect one large chest. And over here we have a treasure map. We have a skeleton pirate with death 2, spooky 2, ghoulish 3, and pickpocket 1. Brutal, aggressive, and crewmate. We must make sure not to put down too many crewmates, because that will buff his health. He's also a level 4 enemy. Fair enough. So we have to collect one large chest. Not that we have a large chest, which means we have to get to the treasure map in order to find the large chest. Fair enough. Well, Tetra, let's go for it, shall we? This deckhand is stupidity one, arm three, rage three. He'll swap the deck with you. We also have some mermaids with aquatic three, irritable five, and feral five. She wants to take you under the sea. And the gold coin. Let's place this corridor piece down here. And we'll try to take on a deckhand, shall we? With a gold coin. Ah, that'd be good for a barrel of rum and no mistake. All right, off we go, Tetra. All right, deckhand, you're going down. I'm going to use my reckless swing upon you. Oh, so reckless. A lunge. Well, I'll show you a squinty eye here. Mmm, look at your squinty eyed. Thrash. That's a lot of damage. If I tried to do too much of something painful. So I shall just use fall over. Oh, so falling over now. Thrash again, though. I think this is the end of Tetra. I use squinty eye and still die. <laughs> yeah, Tetra's dead. Two gold. How many ways can a dungeoneer die before you call it a day? How many children must you make cry? After that pitiful display. Oh. oh dear. That was very pitiful. Well, let's try a bit of a different dungeon here, shall we? Let's try out Skyanox's new being on fire tactic. We'll try the Phlegist tonic with it. Let's enter the dungeon. Ooh. Some piratey music. Of course you can be a pirate on land. It still is a ship, isn't it? Alright, let's go and try to be a deckhand, shall we? <laughs> and mop up some trouble. We're both on fire, as we should be. He's going to start off with some stupidity, which probably means this battle's won. Aspect of the bull sorts him out pretty quickly. A head blow? Well, we'll just let you do that. An aspect of the panther. Budgie, you do discard my bark skin, not what I wanted. Because you might just thrash me, but you don't. Isn't that nice? We would have died if you tried to thrash me. RNG, on our side. So we have the saber tooth here. Swift one, blade two and fate cursed. The dessert spoon, or the scimitar. Slice, slice, slice. Um... I think the Holy Seal is the best choice here. We want some healing. And or some growth cards, of course. We'll put down another Rune of Fate. And another gold coin. So we got here a Wear Crab Mage. Doesn't have any description, interestingly enough, but it's Spooky 3, Sorcery 3. Uh oh. Electrical 2 and Electrical 5. It's Aquatic 2, Electrical 5. But it's Spray. It's a dangerous enemy, but we do have physical attacks that can whittle him down pretty rapidly, so hopefully we'll be okay. Chaos is the first enemy card. We'll 
start with a shift then to make sure we negate this discard and get some more damage as we continue to be on fire. Zap! Well, we can block this zap with Aspect of the Dragon. There we are. We're still on fire. Dark Strike is concerning because it will mean that we die this turn if it hits. Therefore, we must make sure that it doesn't. Not that we can do that, because we've just played Aspect of the Dragon. This will mean at least we don't die this turn, as we are on fire. What you got for it this time? Shock. Um, I think we'll be okay with Aspect of the Bull here. Yeah, I think so. Because I think you die before the fire activates, yeah. Fire activates at the end of the turn, so we could climb the corporate ladder here. Get ourselves Swift 2. Get a Ski Pole. I am going to go for the Ski Pole, actually. It's much better. The extra 2 health will be put us in good stead. Obviously we can't use that last favour point, but we can enjoy the favour we do have. So we'll build out towards the clumsy, uh, the skeleton pirate here. And place down a cranky parrot next. Excellent. Time to set a cranky parrot on fire. It's a shame to have to kill such a glorious, glorious cranky parrot. There we are. Being 11 health makes me feel a bit more comfortable. Regenerating makes sense because we are on fire. <laughs> Ferocious is a lot of damage. We'll bark skin it though. Blocking the lion's share of it. Yoink. Well, we'll just rekindle ourselves. As the parrot continues to be ablaze, we'll slice the parrot now. Only one hit point remaining, and we'll fire blast the parrot to finish it off ourselves. Everything on fire, as it should be. We're forced to take a card. We've got the sword, which is just nothing. Snowman body, or the masquerade mask. We'll go for the masquerade mask to diversify our damage types a bit more. Well, you're going to wander towards me, are you? That's probably because you're aggressive. I'm just going to close my eyes for a second. Mind your flaming glass now, normal enemy. There you go. Z Z Z. All right, let's attack this aggressive skeletal pirate. My crowthorn would like this. All right. It's a lot of health on the enemy there. We do need to use the brittle trait to make things happen. We'll start with a mind strike though. Get some additional cards. Okay, Darkness is its first move. That being the case, we'll use Regeneration. There we are. We've almost equalised their health total. Torment, Ghoulish 2. Torment is a lot of damage once again. Um, I would like to use Aspect of the Dragon here. Therefore we just trade one point each. So the next card is just Spook. I think we'll just rekindle. So far we're basically evening up. Slowly but surely. Siphon! It's a lot of damage there. Per damage it heals for one each. But we can only block it and hope for the best. Hmm, that was a negative trade. Pain? Or we'll fire blast you. Uh, the drain here. The drain we can block with the smite card here. Now we're both on very small health totals and you're just using pain. That's okay, we can slice you to death. That was a close battle though, the skeletal pirate, a worthy adversary. Okay, what are we going to take? Because we're forced to take something, remember. So the Al Familiar would give us divine shield and blinding light. I think that's going to be the choice. Okay, we'll grab that there, and this uh, treasure map here seems like a good call. We'll just place this down here for now, put this, just put this here. Oh, you're <laughs> going to be distracted by that, eh? In that case, we'll fight something. Right, how about a flaming galah? It's already on fire. <laughs> Double on fire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I'm just wondering how this works. Is it literally double on fire? Because we're at level 5 now. Okay, no, it's not double on fire. 
Plunder? Who says you could plunder me? Well, fine then, I'll rekindle. Yeah, take an aspect of the bull, I don't care. <laughs> Fire works for me when I've got more health, right? So, let's smite you, flaming galah. The downside is it's going to give me a loot item, which is probably not what I want. But hey. Because so far my build's looking quite nice. It's just going to get worse, that's all. Well, just might strike you to finish. You can ransack a card. Oh no, Aspect of the Dragon was stolen. What shall we do? Um, we're forced to grab an item once again. But so far these are good choices. The Bone Armor I will happily accept. Giving one extra health point. Zed, Zed, Zed. We're just going to very slowly make our way over here because I just want to grab this money. Yeah, we're not going to do anything else. We're just going to grab this, grab this treasure map. It's okay. There's a lot of lot of massive gems. To be fair. <laughs> okay, we got the treasure map. Which reveals that's where the treasure is. Okay. Good to know. Well, while we're waiting for dungeon pieces, we could pick up some gems. How's that? Massive gems. These gems are worth five. Okay, I've got a rune of fate there. Some more massive gems we could pick up along the way. Skynox is going to be rich. Yeah, you can build that out. That's fine. We can't place that there. Sort of sent him. Interesting mechanic, this new treasure map thing. Put this here. Oh, it reveals an enemy at the same time. There you go. You're aggressive, aren't you? You are. That's okay, you can be aggressive. Let's put this here. We'll just gather more money while waiting for you to come chase us down. Yeah. You're not gonna move as quickly as a boss. No, no one can move as fast as bosses apart from bosses. Okay, there we go. Come chase us down. I'll grab him, take another massive gem for my troubles. Okay, we're gonna make this the last fight, because there is the risk that I just be forced to take a terrible loot item that makes everything terrible. So, that being case, I'm not gonna, you know, take chances of my life. Mind you, I've got 14 maximum health at the moment. It's not bad. With enemy being on fire all the time, and of all this healing from the holy and growth cards, we're looking good. We are looking good. Even this is not that intimidating, because we could just just blinding light here and actually end up with the same health as when we started. So, you know, mind you, this small does hurt, but it's like, well, okay, you can get one hit in and it does a lot of damage, sure, but you're still gonna die. <laughs> the buccaneer was not powerful enough. So, what item we're gonna be forced to take? Hmm, no. Alpine Horn? Good trade ferocious for wise. I suppose that's okay. And padded armor's never bad. Um We'll take the padded armor. Might as well fight a cranky parrot. We have a parrot in our hands. Oh, that's an alpha familiar. <laughs> Might as well get a bit more cash. Skynox setting more birds on fire. Bit of a <laughs> bit of a rascal, isn't he? when he keeps setting birds on fire. Not that, they, not that they're really happy about it at all. Just aspect of the bull. These birds are nothing compared to Skyanox's brilliance of being on fire all the time. <laughs> this is Divine Shield to finish him, shall we? There we are. Grab some more favour that we don't need. Or we could have some more fire. Well, we're forced to take something, right? So... Well, well, we'll give up our fake uh, plus two health and we'll gain flame lash and ignite and fury. There you go. Boom. This is what I mean though, because like we've just given up three health willingly because we didn't have a choice. So there you go. But we'll collect the large chest and win. Three cheers for your lucrative plundering. After all your aimless blundering, how you rode your luck without getting stuck left me and your enemies wondering wonder they might be but Skynox being on fire did work to be fair he was able to continue to whittle opponents down with his passive damage and we have a new drunken sailor Shane welcome Shane you are drunken and a sailor 
Oh, so we have a new loot item. Oh, yes. The leg of ham from Cleaver Joe. Take that, Cleaver Joe. We are doing well with our loot items. When we come back next time, there'll be more Guild of Dungeoneering, as you could see. We don't really much to spend money on now. Everything uh, down here costs 2,000, 2,000 glory, so we'll just have to be patient. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time, right here at Complex Games.